Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Betty a True Dad, welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Well, last time, we made it here to Novaria, and I decided to come out with Ashley because, you know what, Rex and Liara have been getting a fair whack of love, and uh, Liara's staying because, you know, it's her mother we're coming to find, but I thought we'd give Ash a bit of a run out, and uh, I love Novaria. Novaria is great because uh, my first objective is to get out of this port, which is currently locked down due to weather, so I need a pass to do that. And I can get that pass right now if I'm willing to just be a dick. You see, your bold over here has asked me to do a bit of smuggling. And I have now got that package. Okay, he said don't turn it over to the administrator. And right now, I can just turn it into the administrator and trade that for a pass out of this place, skip all the rest of this, straight on my way. Very, very nice and very, very easy indeed. But, 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 I could just give it back to him for money instead. However, there's a third solution I think a lot of people just sort of miss. I want to know where this package is going. This one's customer prefers to remain anonymous. And no, 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 with enough charm or renegade, we can get him to open up a bit. I'd be stupid to do this without knowing I'm not equipping my own enemies. Your words are not unreasonable. The customer is the Krogan called Inamorda. That one is a bounty hunter of some repute and quick to anger. Now, does the other have the package? So, if I want to at this point, I can now lie, say I haven't got it, or just, you know, leave the conversation in general, because what's he going to do to me? I'm a spectre. That bounty hunter is in one of the side rooms. I can go and find him and sell him the mod for even more money, because I've literally just cut out the middleman, so I can get more money straight away, which is great. But, 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 life gets even more interesting if instead of actually lying to him right now, or just excusing yourself, you overtly tell him, no, you know what? I'm just going to keep that for myself. You cannot do that. Inamorda will be furious with this one. This one wants the other to leave now. And there we go. That gets me, I think it's some um, randomizer. I think it's always that. But to be honest, more high explosive rounds. I shan't say no to that. In fact, you know what? Screw it. At this point, by the way, did I never actually... Hang on, which is my... That's not my pistol. Okay, Liara, you can just have a new pistol. But, uh, yes, Liara, uh, good news. You're also getting high explosive rounds. Everybody gets high explosive rounds. And speaking of that bounty hunter, he now wants a bit of revenge. This is a fight I think very few people will have seen. But if you just go back to your ship right now, he should be waiting for you. In fact, I just had a thought, actually. Liara, you don't actually have a pistol specialization, do you? So... These days, now that everybody has got basic proficiency with every weapon, then... Oh, Liara, I've got an idea. Congratulations, Liara. You now use an assault rifle. An assault rifle we're gonna load with high explosive rounds. There we go, pistol away, rifle out. Oh, this is... This is gonna be good. Though, actually, I think we might actually be... No, not that. Not that game. I think we might actually be behind on... Yeah, Ashley's, because what are you actually using right now? Yes, there we go. You can be using the same thing, so slap that on you too. Oh, you've got matching assault rifles. With matching, oh, this is... Okay, I feel a bit sorry for this Krogan, because uh, life is not gonna end well for him. And, oh, there he is. There he is right now, in fact. So, okay, we got ourselves a Krogan and just, just, oh, wow. Okay, knocking him the flip down. Krogan snipers, you don't get much of that, by the way. So, there he is. There's our lad. Just lift him up if you'd be so kind. And now, on account of... Let's just take out his friends first, actually. Hang on. Sorry. Those, those, um... Those were his friends. Okay, we're taking out his friends first. Seriously, guys, don't they? Oh! Okay, one of them's right here. Liara, before you get, like, headbutts to death, please just get these guys uh, out of the way. And, oh, bloody hell. Oh, bloody how this is... Oh, I'm enjoying this. This is great. How's he doing, by the way? So, 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 so. That guy is now going to... Everybody concentrate all firepower. This is going to be good. This is going to be great fun. Oh, he's charging. Um, lift. And... Oh, we didn't quite get the momentum on him, which is a bit of a shame. 
And yeah, if you can get the momentum while they're charging, he'll just fly off in that direction forever, which is pretty good. Uh, if you can throw him off in some direction and yeah, just knock him out of bounds. I mean, I feel like he's not hes not getting up from this anyway, is he? No. No, he's not getting up from that. And were you guys hoping or just not getting involved? I'm not sure. Everyone is very calm about the massive explosion Krogan fight that just occurred. So, marvellous. Okay, back to what we're supposed to be doing. Right, having already started murdering some people, let's go have a chat with Analeas. Though, spoiler warning, it's not gonna go well. Turns out you cannot explode bureaucracy. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain space-born vagabonds. I'm here as a specter, not a human. Keep that in mind. Believe me, that is foremost in my mind. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. I'm conducting an investigation. It's a matter of galactic security. Yes, isn't everything. I will not allow you to harass our clients. This world is private property. So, you can dig in a little bit, but you're not going to get very much whatsoever. Though, you will get a very overt admission that yes, he does business with Saren, because here, it's not illegal. Basically, nothing's illegal. Do you do business with Saren? Agent Saren? One of your Spectre compatriots? He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. So yes, indeed. Not much you can do with this guy whatsoever. You're just not going to get any solid answers out of him. So, leave Analeas uh, alone and... Okay, seriously, the gun drones seem to be a bit more interested in me all of a sudden. Possibly because, as I say, there was a fair bit of a explosion in going on. But, 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 Gianna, me and you, we can be friends, I think. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. So it would seem. I need an alternative. Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not with an earshot of Mr. Analeas. So there we go, let's go find him. The bar's also worth visiting for a couple of other reasons. For example, we have got ourselves, uh, yes, more than one little subquest dotted around here. So uh, this here, this is a nice, easy, but very profitable one. The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your, my, real intentions. He's right there. Why not talk to him yourself? I wish I could. I already bungled this myself. He realized I was not a real buyer. Yeah, and now he's seen you speaking to me, so this isn't gonna fly, but whatever. I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in Binary Helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. Of course, fun thing about this mission, it fits into the main story too. It kind of lets you know, hey, Matriarch Benezia has a whole bunch of commandos with her. Now, we know she's just brought them with her as, you know, bodyguards. We'll be fighting them later. But, of course, this woman knows nothing about any of that. She just assumes that they'd be here for some form of military training or trying out a new amp or something. So, yes, it's very nice indeed. But the reward is rather intriguing. I would be well paid for this. So would you. 500 credits. Okay, I'm misremembering. I thought it was a new license. I kind of wanted the new license, but 
it's fine because, yes, you can actually play both sides in this one, which is definitely the best way to go. So, Mr. Vargas, how about I am extremely honest with you immediately? An agent of the Aramali Council hired me to break into your network. She gave me this. Oh, a cracking device. I appreciate your forthrightness, Shepard. Now that we know what to look for, our IT people can have a little fun with the Asari. We'll isolate their viruses and feed them false data. If you'll excuse me. So, there we go. That feels like the right thing to do, because this was just, you know, corporate sabotage of some description. Back over to you. Everything went as planned. You should see results soon. Excellent. I will transfer 500 credits to your account. Aha! Uh -huh. I wasn't misremembering. Only 500. All right. I thought you might have wanted to provide more. Since you couldn't do it yourself, I mean. Did I say 500 credits? I meant 750. Good day, Spectre. No, seriously. I could have sworn that mission actually provided, you know, some flipping extra licenses or amps or something. I must be completely misremembering this, dear oh flippin' dear. Right, got a level up out of that too. Right, Shepard, best we move you towards, yes, Master Spectre training. Liara, you just take more first aid at this point. Ashley, max out your own first aid too, and then after that, honestly, I guess you can be good at sniper rifles, say. Right, Mr. Keen, please put down the booze, me and you have to chat business. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Are you Lorik Keen? I've heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? I'm trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office. For the moment, at least. Mr. Analeus closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeus's actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeus would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. Honestly, better and better. Alright, Analyze is a dick, we get to screw him over, we get the pass, everybody wins. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... What is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? Violence against Mr. Analeus's thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. I'll focus on trying to get your evidence. If I'm lucky, I won't have to fight anyone. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep bloodstains off the carpets, would you? I love that final comment. Lorik's great. Right, let's go murder some thugs. Well, okay, most of the thugs. We can spare, like, three of them. See up to the office, we have a handful of thugs right in front of us. Now them, we can clear out. Freeze! Hanshan security. This office is sealed. Lorik Keen gave me a pass in. Keen? Are you working for him? He's under investigation. But that's absolutely fine. With enough charm or renegade, you can just go. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. Does Captain Matsuo know you're here? Hey, I'm not the one who wants Keen. Analeas has a varin up his ass about this guy. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. And there we go. We have now saved those two people who have walked away. Everyone else has decided they do want to die for whatever reason. So... Okay, Ashley, you just uh, head over in that direction and to oh wow, there's a lot of firepower here. Lot of firepower, you guys up top. Right, need to take out the person over here. See you. Uh Liara, knock him down. Oh blimey heck, okay, is, is he okay? I suspect he's he's not so Oh, okay, there we well he's not gonna be okay in a moment, because now 
Now the physics is just getting silly, damn it. Okay, this is this is good. There we go. That's you in a bit of trouble. Sabotage wears off and oh this is. Oh, I was hoping I could blast them all the way up the wall. But tragically no. Right, Ashling, go and expose him, please. Uh, and in just a moment, that is going to do some lovely, 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 lovely... Oh, blimey! I got hit by a thing. I think it was an overload. There's a technician up top somewhere. Right, somebody just go and take care of all of this, please. Uh, Liara, you'll be a good match. Oh, blimey! That probably hurt. Right, you can just go down. Job done. Right, one more up top. But remember, I can always use assassinate to uh, cool down if I need to. I kind of want to just Ashley to win by herself. And uh, how's she doing? How's she doing right now? She's doing okay. And she is hiding. Doing a bit of damage. I just feel like she's not doing the DPS. Though right now they're both sort of exploding each other. Though she is knocking them over. The advantage of giving your companions uh, knock you over ammunition is... Uh, it means they can, you know, knock over people. Which syncs up really nicely with overload. Because once you've got overload, you can just strip the shields. Uh, then your companions can just, you know, consistently knock everyone down. Right, there's his computer upstairs. Got the evidence. Job flipping done. But now, we've got a new friend over there. So yes, the woman who was very rude to us uh, when we arrived uh, has now shown up. And uh, she's not keen on me in general, to be honest. So let's murder her and her friends. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. You have me at a disadvantage, miss. Oh, now you're going to show some respect? I'm Sergeant Kyra Sterling, Ilanis Risk Control Services. Analeas would throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? What a load of crap. You're here off duty breaking the law for bribe money. I didn't want to fight them. They fired first. Well, I don't need a gun to rip you to pieces. Okay, um, you seem to have pulled out a gun anyway. Also, you've all decided to stand next to each other, which... Bad call. Very, very bad call, actually. So we're just going to be knocking you into cock. Ha 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 Oh no. You are app. Ah, you're a biotic. Well, that makes sense. Uh, let's just hit her with overload and then lift her up as well. That's a relatively nice, easy way of taking care of her. And now just start knocking her about. Right, that was in the head, and she's now dead and up top. We got ourselves a sniper, dead. Was he a sniper? What's this? Oh, she brought more people downstairs. Okay, can we deal with them? Wait, where'd they go? I see ya. He wants to snipe, do ya? No, you don't. No, you don't. And can I... Did I just blast him or did you just make a run for it? I think he just made a run for it. Admittedly, he could totally hit my head here, but he's apparently not going to, so excuse me. No, you don't. And just uh, blast him into a... Blast him off the edge there. Very, very nicely done. Okay, everything's under control. Ashley, you just stay right there. And as soon as you pop up... Oh, yeah. Now, now life is bad for you. Also, there's a box here. I forgot about this. Hang on, where was that box? I definitely just saw a box. There's the box. Lovely. Shan't be saying no to uh, any of that. Now we got ourselves. No. 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 Okay. Should really aim before any of this. And you don't have a shield. And you take a bonus damage. And your chance of waking up or getting up in general right now is non-existent. But I would like my companions to do this by themselves. Okay. I want Ashley to take out this person. All right. Just, just fire. Ashley, just fire. Just fire. Just stand right there. Okay, there we go. Somebody, just fire. Okay, good. Good. No, just keep firing before they get the shields back up. There we go. Bloody useless. Commander, there have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Would you know anything about it? It's probably Analeas's thugs ripping the place apart. Smart ass, huh? That's fine. I can work with that. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. So, Gianna, need to have a chat with her. Lorik Keen, need to have a chat with him. But, 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 there's another step again. Just a little thing you can miss here. So, as you're aware, those people were working for Miss uh, Miko. And uh, she didn't know. She's actually the only person here who's not dirty. And uh, she stands right by the entrance. And you've just kind of killed the people who work for her. So... Uh, you can actually go and speak to her, kind of, you know, say sorry, explain yourself. And you don't have to, but you can, it's lovely. Good day, Commander. 
I wonder, how have you been spending your time? Well, you know, Spectre business. That's a polite way to brush me off. No matter. There was a break-in at the Synthetic Insights office. Several of my officers were killed. You wouldn't know anything, would you? And Jess, you can lie if you want to, or you can just admit it. That was me, actually. I see. Would you care to explain? Analeas bought them off. He had them ransacking the Synthetic Insights office for his own interests. That is all too likely. Sergeant Sterling was highly mercenary. If that is true, I bear no ill will toward you. I warned my people against taking jobs on the side. This is what comes of it. I appreciate your honesty, Commander. If you will excuse me, I must compose the letters to notify their families. So there we go. You can just uh, speak to her, admit you murdered her people, but she kind of half already knew that they were dirty. So yeah, she doesn't really mind. It's all just fine. Now you can absolutely just ignore her. Go straight back to Lorik, trade the uh, information you've got for the key. Job done. You're completing your mission. But we may as well speak to Gianna while we're passing by. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. Why is an internal affairs agent here? The executive board knows about Analeas's corruption. I've been undercover for six months. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. I need Keen's garage pass to complete my mission. You help my investigation, I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for a favor. In the long run, it is better to remove the source of the problem. Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. You Spectres play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. All right, I'll talk to Keen and see if I can convince him. Thank you. You know where I work. Come talk to me once you know if he'll play ball. All right, so we can get Analeas screwed over. And to be honest, yes, he was a dick to me, so I'm looking forward to that. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? So, as I say, hand over his stuff, no trouble, or instead... I finished the job, but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Analeas. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. So, normally you can't convince him, but with enough charm or renegade... Everyone on this station is chafing under Analeas' extortion. You might end up a hero. My employers rely on the goodwill of the executive board to work here. The board is investigating Analeas. They will be more angry at him than at you. All right. It is obvious that I cannot dissuade you. Very well. I will testify. Make whatever arrangements you need with your contact. I will wait here. And you also get a giant pile of Paragon for doing it this way, which is very useful indeed, because to do the biggest, hardest checks, you just need to have gathered enough Paragon points to unlock up to level 12. And as I say, I could have skipped absolutely all of this, right from the beginning, could have taken off Bolt's package, run to Analeas, said, here's evidence of smuggling, he'd have given me the pass, I could have been on my way. So, you know, you'd have left this place in terrible, terrible shape with corrupt cops and corrupt administrators, but you'd be doing your own thing. You'd be able to move straight on. And I love that that's an option. You can just do something that is dickish and unhelpful, but it still does the job. And yes, I believe in uh, just a minute, we should be in very, very good shape indeed. This is an outrage. I'll see that you never work in this sector again. Yeah, yeah, get a move on. You, Shepard, I demand you place this bitch under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. I wish to God you'd exercise it. See you around the galaxy, Commander. I owe you a beer. And off she goes. We won't see her again this game, but in Mass Effect 2, she will indeed buy you a beer, which is lovely. Still, that's all we need. We can now get on our way. Aside from one small issue, which is, uh, as you actually uh, reach the garage, uh, there's trouble in here. Benezia doesn't want to be followed. She's left a couple of geth behind to keep an eye on you, who once again do the, hey, bet you've never seen one of these before little introductory bits, just in case you came here uh, first. So, okay. I do see over there, yes, a giant, oh, you're going to try and rush me, aren't you? Oh, this is, oh, 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 no, Liara, I kind of need this for cover myself. Okay, we've now got Geth Destroyers, and now I can just start blasting them, and no you don't, you stupid bastards. Okay, 
Uh, just a little bit of overload should... Nope, stop him before he gets on top of us. And, okay, maybe a bit of assassination, actually. Go! And now just knock him over and keep knocking him over. And, oh my goodness, this is... This is lovely. I need this guy's shield down, however. Till his shield's down. I can't do much to him. Okay, you're dead at least. I think there's one more. Where's the other one? That's you. Come on. Need... Oh, you weren't dead either. What? Job done. Right. Maiko, sorry, I'm causing a lot of trouble for you right now. I appreciate. What did you do here, Commander? Yes, I know I keep murdering everyone, but once again, not my fault. The Geth ambushed us. We fought back. That's it. Geth, you expect me to... Where did they come from? Safe Money says Benezia had them in those shipping containers she arrived with. I don't believe that. We did thorough scans of those. There were no power sources, no element zero masses. If Benezia Sama's containers were packed with these things, there are many more out there. I need numbers, Captain. A dozen? A hundred? Dozens, at least. They're machines. You could pack them tightly. I must report to the executive board. If word gets out about loose geth, there may be an investor panic. Seriously, I feel very sorry for Meiko. I am not giving her a good day. Ever since I arrived, uh, people do just keep exploding. Also, the Mako's here. I don't know how, once again, it just sort of teleports here, but yeah, there's just a Mako here. Again. Still, never look a gift tank in the mouth. Instead, uh, straight outside uh, into the lovely new Blizzard effect. Let's go murder some Geth, because uh, you used to get massively reduced XP for Geth that died when you are in the tank. Now you don't. Now it's just the same as it ever was. So, yes, you level up a fair bit faster in the uh, Mako sections, which is very, very nice indeed. So, uh, all right. Just try not to drive straight off the edge. Instead, keep an eye out for some lovely, lovely Geth. I'm sure we'll be running into some sooner rather than later. And you can just go down. Oh, yeah. The little shields. They're not going to do well against... Uh, me, actually. So let's just get them out of the way in case there are Geth behind them. And... There we go. I'm pretty sure you're dead too. You know what? I think we can just go in. I think we're fine. Against small arms fire, a tank is going to do A-OK. -okay. The bigger lads might cause a bit of trouble, but against basic shock troopers, yeah, especially when we can just do that. No. Boost. Avoid the rockets. The rockets are a bit more on the dangerous side. And then you completely didn't aim at me. Oh, there's a fair few rockets, actually. Okay, this, this, is, this is fine. This is fine. Take out a couple of them. Just deal with you bastards. I've still got some shielding. Just move from side to side. Line up a shot. Knock you over. That's all absolutely fine. And then just avoid and... Don't know why that didn't work, but it didn't. And the shield is just holding together. But give it a second, we'll be golden. Also, did I see a crate back here? Hang on. I swear I saw a... And now I'm now I'm just doing a... Okay, I'm trying to turn around. It's fine. I swear I saw something here. Was there a box just chilling out in the middle of the road? I think there might have been, you know. I shan't say no to upgrade. You see, even more high explosives. I've got so many high explosives at this point. It's great. And we got a couple of big lads over here too, so that's fine. We've taken care of you many, many times before. Shields are now back to fully operational. Geth armature. Oh, it's not even a cloth, it's just a basic armature. That should be absolutely fine. You're nice and dead. You managed to just about hit me, but honestly, it's fine. Want to go over here, because, yeah, free boxes. Now I'm going to say no to a free box. You're nice and dead too. Take the shields down. We're good. Yeah, according to the radar we are. So yes, uh, the Geth are just uh, murdering anyone dumb enough to try and come this way. But fortunately, I may be that dumb, but I've also got a giant tank. So I'm doing much better than many people are. Lovely. And never forget, by the way, when you're killing Geth, you are just picking up so, so much equipment. It is ridiculous. In fact, you know what, Ashley? You can have... Oh, no, you can't have a Geth rifle because those can't have explosive ammo and I'm enjoying the explosive ammo. The rest of the ride's not much trouble, to be honest. There are a handful of, uh, yeah, missile turrets, but as we've seen, they fire the slowest, most lazy missiles in the world, so uh, if you don't feel like taking them out, honestly, if I just drive around even without using the booster, the chance of them landing a single hit is pretty much non-existent. They're just... They're just not gonna do it. 
I'm just having a lovely, leisurely Sunday drive, and uh, they do not have a chance of touching me. Which brings us tragically to the end of the line, because uh, there is, in fact, yes, one door, you can't get the Mako through. Over on uh, Liara's world, uh, easy, no trouble. Here, not so much gonna fly, also, Liara. Okay, why are you so wounded? Okay, let's just get Liara. There we go. Okay, first aid's now looking much better. In we go. Cold hazard disappears. We're already ready to do more flipping stuff. Liara's just hanging out outside. She feels like it. Okay, welcome to peak 15. And uh, things in here are not always easy. There are Krogan. Like, quite a few Krogan. And you do not take Krogan lightly. We've got Krogan. We've got drones. So, yeah. Plenty of various different kinds of enemies. And that's always difficult to deal with. Because... Uh, if you want to be optimizing your ammo, you need one type of ammo for, you know, a lovely, lovely Krogans, one for drones, and seriously, just lose your... Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. Okay, let's see if we can make this happen. So that guy's now charging at me. That means he's got momentum. So if we lift him right now, you'll see he is now continuing to float in the same direction, which is beautiful, and now we're just going to knock him down. He dies while he's up in the air, and I believe there is a... Oh! Okay. Yes, there's definitely a Geth Juggernaut over there. So, go! Do we kill him? Well, we did something good to him. We've knocked him over at the bare minimum. He doesn't even seem to be uh, touching me right now. Uh, oh, he's definitely not. He ain't done yet. Wait for that to land. And seriously, go down. Ash, you head forward because, yes, you have got heavy armor. Good damage reduction, all the rest of it. Little drone goes down. That guy's definitely dead. Now, there's somebody up here isn't there. Yeah, one basic death trooper. I'm not too worried by him. He's being knocked the flip down. Ashley's just going to go into... Oh! Ashley is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a flipping Krogan right now. So how about we give her a little bit of help, actually, and then we just blast that guy into the ceiling. Liara, just give him a push, and there we go. Life is good. And yes, if he dies mid-air, he can't regenerate. Normally, Krogans get two lives. But if they die in midair, they can't activate their regeneration spell. So, as a result of that, yeah, he just doesn't get back up again, which is very useful. Another good use of biotics. Why are the turrets facing the wrong way? They want to keep their people in as much as they want to keep others out. I love Peak 15. Peak 15 is a lovely, lovely nightmare scenario going on over here. So, all right. Plenty more stuff, though. All right, just keep looting all the boxes, because you never know when you're going to be needing stuff or need a giant pile of money. Sooner or later, like, you know, a $5 million rifle is going to show up, and I'm going to be wanting that. So uh, take all of this, help myself to upgrade kits, etc. Still would like, you know, a handful more in the way of Omni tools, but what can you do? Okay, moving on up. For the time being, we have got ourselves seriously. Ash, why are you not up front right now? You should be going up front. And go... Take out all of that. A bit of all of this. And now you are just going to be... Wow. This is... I think at this point, with these fire rounds on, nothing has got physics resistance against me. In fact, I'm really curious about what we're about to uh, see. Because we're about to run into a very tough, unique enemy in a moment. And I'm kind of curious whether maybe, just maybe, have I got uh, my overload? Not just yet. Okay, just wait. Wait. Come on, buddy. Come on. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. Down you go. Down you go. Some more. You're on fire too. And you are up top and... Okay, let's just knock you over. A little bit more. Okay, you're already dead. One more. Down you go. Here we go. Here comes the big news. Right here. Because there's something that shouldn't be here that's here regardless. What was that? Animals, wind. This place is in bad shape. And here we go. We have now got Rachni. And I feel kind of bad that Rex isn't here. Because he knows what Rachni are. And yep, we have got ourselves little suicide banelings right now. Everybody ready for the suicide banelings? Have we got them all? Because yes, we've got Rachni. They're supposed to be extinct. We're also not supposed to have seen them yet. But we did. Because Cerberus also managed to uh, get hold of some. So uh, that was a bit of a shame. Everybody rifles out. I'm curious whether we can knock these guys down because 
if we have now got enough smash damage to just push them over, well, uh, that's actually very good news for me. Because these guys don't have shields. Because they're animals. So go, go, go. Oh, flip me. We want 100% do. And I completely missed you. And now, oh my. Oh, flip me. Oh, well, this is... This is very interesting, because these guys are... Well, they're not resistant to biotics, but they tend to be pretty heavy. So it's difficult to lift them up. And over next door, we've got more yet. So everybody just focus your attention and just controlled, limited firing burst. Okay, this is... I have never played this exact style before, where I have focused overwhelmingly on knockdown over everything else. But I can now knock down Rachni, which is... Oh, life is good. I am a happy about life right now. This is, this is marvellous. The giant invincible space bugs, uh, I can basically just say, no, you guys just hang out on the ground now. I can't be bothered with you. And they've not got shields, which is the one thing that stops me just doing this to uh, everybody. I'm pretty sure there's an ambush in here as soon as I grab this uh, medical kit. And uh, where are you? I know there's an ambush in here somewhere. There we go, guys. Knock them over. There we go. Everyone fire. Guys, you've got guns. Just use your guns. Lovely. Life is better and better. Good. <laughs> oh my, this is... I'm having a lovely time today. Okay, this is very positive. Because some of the fights in this place are terrifyingly tough. Also, can I use my... Oh, flip me. Okay, yes, I've got enough splash on my guns to just take out all of these little bastards. Oh, I'm a happy about life. So, first things first, we need to restore power, and I know how we do that. It's using a recycled puzzle from Knights of the Old Republic. I mean, or you just slap 100 Omni Gel on it, but we're gonna do manual reactivation as well, because, uh, yes, we just need to transfer the pillars over. It's the old pyramid transfer puzzle, McJibble. Just transfer everything over step by step, so you can get the bottom one straight over there. Then we can just start moving everything in the right direction. Everything is just fine. So you move over there to join your friend, you come back over here, you go in the centre, you go over here, you come over here, and job is done. Power's restored, and I get a very James Bondy style little uh, beep to let me know I've done well. And I get a VI now, better and better. Okay, nothing too complicated here. I need to, yeah, fix something up on the roof and fix the reactor over here. So let's start off with the roof, because this was always a bit of a nightmare. Alright, especially on Insanity. But now I can just knock the bugs down, life might be a lot easier. I'm pretty sure the way I normally do this section is I just send my companions forward to die while I just sprint for the buttons. And then we just basically try and, yeah, sprint back inside using immunity. Because when you get back to the elevator, your companions just spring back to life and teleport to you. So, alright, Williams, you first. Alright, where are they? And, okay, there's many of them. Yep, 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 okay. Many, many Ragnar soldiers. Assassinate. Right, you're dead. And they're sending the Banelings at us. But, Williams has got herself, uh, yeah, some beautiful, beautiful... No, you don't. Down you go. Yep, we're doing it. Okay, standing right here and just basically bombarding them before they can get back up. This works. They can't resist it. I'm not doing so much physics damage. I don't think they can actually... Oh my. Okay, I'm not sure how well this would have worked in original Mass Effect. I mean, it should have worked pretty well. Uh, Williams, you over first. Just draw their fire because you have got immunity. And so have I. I just haven't used it at any point yet. So everybody just focus on this controlled fire. Are we good? I think we're good. Well, that was... Wow. Okay, this is uh, this is one hell of a build right here. Right, landlines repaired with this here button. This would normally be the point where I start sprinting back to cover, but I've also got level up for my trouble. Marvelous. Right, we know what Shepard's doing. Maxed out spec training so I can bring my team back on the off chance they fall over. Ash is pretty good at first aid, but she's not always going to be here. So Liara, let's just move you up towards uh, maxed out first aid and... Uh, Honestly, let's get you up towards sniper rifles too, because, uh, yeah, the hitting power of sniper rifles is uh, pretty bloody strong. So, uh, if I did ever want Ash to properly act as a proper, you know, knock-em-down machine, 
I'd want her to be on snipers too, even though the actual DPS day to day wouldn't be as good. And at some point, not sure if it's now or later. Yes, I thought so. No, you don't. No, you flippin' don't. Have fun being on the ground, you stupid bastard. Also, I think some of the little lads might just go on top of me, because... Was there a little lad? Because something poisoned me. So, I'm guessing it was one of the little lads. Right, over here to the reactor. This time, not Rack 9, instead, Geth. This room could be nasty. Rockets, snipers, all sorts of bad stuff. Ooh, and we're jammed. Except we're not, because Liara just got her gun out, and Liara's got the, uh, yeah, the combat thing on her gun. So, okay. That means I do actually have... Oh. No, because they're upstairs. It's fine. Ooh, I have Lomni tool. Right, well, look at that in a sec. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, rocket troopers. I'm going to assassinate him if I can. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh boy. Right. Didn't enjoy that, did ya? Alright, we got more, yeah. Definitely upstairs. Uh, watch through the windows. Not right here, though. Ash, I need you to be going first. Draw the fire, Ash. There you go. And, okay. She's realised someone's firing at her. And someone's charging. But that's fine. Get destroyers can't do too much to an actual soldier. Someone's going to try and also snipe her, but with immunity up, she just does not care. She's going to be quite as tanky as Rex, but she's pretty close if that wasn't a sniper. Okay, no, no, no. No, you don't. You're not getting back up, friend. You're not getting back up. And I see you. Oh, I did. And he moved. Oh. Oh, so you're still there. Okay, knock over you. Watch out for that one. Did I get him or not? I'm not sure. There's another stalker up top yet. He might. Oh. Oh, there's so many of them. Why are they? Oh! Rockets. Okay, well, Ash can take it. Ash is fine. Does she have shield boost? Really hope she does. Well, she's got um the ability to get all her abilities off cooldown. So, yeah, use your adrenaline burst. And now get your shield back up. And just take you out. You're going to fall over. She uses immunity straight away. And I assume shield burst too. She's been dampened, which does nothing to her. So that was a bit pointless. She's been dampened again. And you are... Where are you? Oh, no, you don't. Stop him. Right, as soon as his shields go down, he's in trouble. There's so many of those stalkers. But I think it's now nothing but stalkers. Which is honestly fine. And yeah, now he's screwed. There we go. One more up top. Watch out. Because he could have a bloody rocket launcher or something. In fact, I've got a feeling the one up top is bad news. So, congrats, Ash. You're going first. This is why we send tanks up first. Whether it's Ashley or Rex. Are we good? He's around the other side, isn't it? Yeah, he's around the other side. Alright, use the windows. Use the windows, see if we can spot him. But I'm pretty sure... Yeah, he's a juggernaut. I thought so. Right, can we actually get eyes on? I don't think I can actually cast my abilities from here. Everyone on me... As soon as we open this door, it's not going to be a fun time. So, Liara, I need you ready. And go. Okay, Liara. Seriously, left. And. Okay, now I need Liara to push him out of bounds. Go. And go, go, go. Go, go. And now he's in trouble. Is he out of bounds? Not quite, but he's going to die anyway. Good job, Chief. You actually finished that one off. Don't you need to take that guy if he's kind of just waiting in ambush up top? But, may as well, because that just gets me a whole bunch more boxes. I'm not seeing anything looking too sexy up here, but I shan't say no to free stuff I can sell for giant piles of money, because we do have another shop coming up. And I do enjoy a good shop. Also, don't forget grenades. Though, to be honest, grenades feel a bit redundant at the moment, because grenades create, you know, explosions that do physics damage, and... So do my primary weapons at this point. I feel like I've pretty much retired grenades. Still, nothing too complicated here. Push button, fix fuel line, and there we go. We should now be able to move straight on to the hot labs. Lovely. Repairs complete. I don't think that triggers an ambush, but... Eyes open just in case. I think we're fine, though. I'm also going to restore uh, Liara to damage over time, so she can now do... Bernie damage uh, that also knocks down enemy accuracy, which I feel like could be useful. Ash, we will keep on explosions because she's definitely knocking people down 
and she's going to be put in the position to knock people down way more commonly. So, yep, I figured you might be showing up, buddy. Right, everybody just get over there. Put some Liara. Would you like to... Okay, day later, a dollar short, and actually she's... Bloody hell, Liara, keep up. Right, everybody keep on keeping on. If I see any more Banelings, just pop them. I don't even need to hit them, just getting close by. That's good enough, and... I think they all rushed forward and got taken out of the door, so... Okay, we have made it to the transit station. Marvelous. This next bit, by the way, is a bit mean, which is... Uh, you can completely accidentally, and with no way of knowing you're about to do it, screw yourself out of a fair whack of story. Which is, uh, you get here, and there's a couple of different ways you can... Oh, hang on, has this been changed? Oh! Okay, hang on, was this always the case? I know for a fact, there is a way to go to the hot labs, and then... Yeah, because you've done it, when you go up top, the guy's like, Oh, well, I guess I need to, you know, conduct Benezia's secret orders and assassinate you. I swear in the original Mass Effect, you used to be allowed to just go to the hot labs, but they're locked. Were they always locked? Am I misremembering? Because I know there's a way you can get those labs open, and then the guy upstairs just sort of turns on you. And it just becomes a shooting gallery and you kind of just miss out on a tiny bit of plot. So, okay. Maybe I'm misremembering. I'm not sure. In either case, let's go upstairs because the guy who, you know, isn't shooting me right now, because I haven't been to the hot lab, needs help. Which I'm going to give him because I'm a better person than he is. Hello there, Captain. Don't worry, I'm going to help you out. It turns out these guys are really, really easy to murder, actually. Sorry, we couldn't be sure what was on the tram. And yes, indeed, you didn't murder me, so it's fine. I'd do the same. What's going on here? Bugs. Zillions of them, coming up the tunnels from the hot labs. My team's been running on stems for days. Look, you're human and that's enough that I won't shoot, but I'd like to know who you are. My name is Shepard. I'm a Spectre. Huh. I won't look a heavily armed horse in the mouth. The aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out, and he ain't all there anymore. At first we knew the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. You were taken by surprise and had civilians to protect. You did a good job, Captain. Yeah. Sure as hell doesn't feel like it. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. Venezia. Is she still over there? I don't know. I don't see what one person could do. A matriarch has the skill to keep herself alive for a long time. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. It can take you down to the hot labs. Oh, and if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. Aha! That's where he gives you the card. Okay, I'm not misremembering this, which is... Uh, yes, it's all a bit peculiar he does, because... Uh, okay, we're going to do this the way I'm not supposed to do it, or rather, the way the game implies you should do it, but then punishes you if you do. Hell, man the perimeter! So, we have now got ourselves a handful of Rachni, and yes, he's going to act like this is a big deal. It's not. It's fine. Just shoot them with highly explosive rounds, and they just sort of drop dead. You see? No trouble. No trouble whatsoever. Okay, first things first, I'm not saying no to a shop, because uh, there is a shop upstairs, uh, just in case the shop's about to turn on me, which it might well be about to. I'd like to... Uh, Go and have a chat with these bastards. I believe it's an Elcor shop, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. Everybody loves an Elcor shop. He's selling the same rifle as I'm already using. Marvelous. We've also got ourselves a heavy armor human. So for Ash, that would be, again, exact match. Okay, fair enough. So we're doing pretty well here. That's garbage. And then we're into, yeah, low level stuff. Okay, well, that's just trash, my good man. But yeah, what you're supposed to do now is, you know, speak to everyone, diddly diddly dee, then do the hot labs right at the end, okay, just to clear them on the way out. But he just gave you the card for the hot labs, so basically, as far as I'm concerned, the game kind of implies, hey, go down to the hot labs if you want. If you can sort that out, go right ahead. So that's what I'm going to do. And here we go. The hot labs, as it turns out, are one room. It is one single room with the only Russian guy in space chilling out in it. Are you here to secure the situation? That's right. I'm a Council Spectre. Who are you? I am Yaroslav Tartakovsky, 
the operations director. I would stand and shake hand, but uh, you must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? You let these things out? Uh, I am only following the orders. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Rachni ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. Rachni? The Krogan wiped them out a thousand years ago. That is so. Billions of lives lost in that war, on both sides. A thousand-year-old egg hatched? Yes. Very tough to be so long frozen. That it survived the centuries. This is miraculous. I'm not sure I would qualify this as a miracle. Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni, mass produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? Queens are born carrying the genetic code of their fathers. Eggs are carried away from the colony to hatch alone. Queens can lay eggs in hours and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. Separating them from their mother didn't work. Ah, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. This is fascinating, but we don't have time to chat. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. <laughs> I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. I'm not familiar with the Purge system. It creates bursts of Neutron radiation. Kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. How do we set off the Purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then uh, I will get near the stuff. So, yes indeed, a uh, very unfortunate timing on this whole business, and... No! Down you go, buddy. Down you flipping go. So, yes, fortunately, he's got the purge codes on him, but uh, if you decide you can't be bothered with any of that, there's nothing to stop you just going through to this room at the end and trying to bluff it, which does not go well, by the way. So, yes, one of the options is mumble something. Uh... Sick Semper Turret. <coughs> that is not the correct code. It was a good attempt, Shepard. I mean, well tried. We should probably just go and, you know, get the codes off this guy's corpse. Because he wrote them down a little post that he carries with him at all times. Which is very bloody useful. But then, as soon as that happens, life's gonna get stressful. Because we're gonna need to get through this room and this room is going to be a bad time. Now this time, with a code... Code input, 875-020-079. Code Omega, local execution. Verified. Code Omega execution in 120 seconds. Okay, another 120 seconds to get out of this whole situation. And there are many of them all of a sudden. But that's fine, because I'm now curious whether I might actually have the firepower to make this work and seriously ash i need you to just go forward uh i need to get cool down under control i have about two minutes there's uh, i mean there's a lot of them but on the other hand singularity okay this is this is fine take out you take out you 30 percent bonus damage using all of this ash i need you to just yeah immunity Ash's immunity means she can just tank this all day every day uh she can't take that much eventually that will wear off uh use a warp over there, bring grenades in. That's going to do something. I'm just going to try and knock them off their feet. I wonder if I can clear the room. I've never done this before. But you might be able to actually clear the room. And then is Ash down at this point. Ash is down. Uh, but that's fine. Because, John, that was not the right ability. Bring her back up. 
Okay, that's okay. And then she's going to be wanting to hang around. We got him. Not quite, but close. That was a near... Why am I not firing? There we go. Now I'm firing. Go! go! Oh, bloody hell. Heal. Heal, heal, heal. Liara, I'm going to need you to tank for a second. Liara. Liara. Liara, get out there. Oh, we did it. Oh, flip me. We did it. Okay, and with 40 seconds to go. Yeah, normally, you're supposed to immunity and sprint through this room and make it to the elevator. But uh, on this occasion, no. I've managed to successfully get out of here. Just. Only flipping just. And with 30 seconds to go. Right. Flipping marvellous. Yes, you don't generally... Liara, you don't want to be here. We're about to neutron purge this room. So, you'd think that was a good thing, right? Like, you know, that's specifically the thing the guy said you ought to do. You know, he said, bugs keep coming up from down below. Here's a key to the hot labs. I sure hope, you know, something good happens. That means there's no more Rachni. You kind of expect you're going to go back upstairs and he's going to say, well, congrats, you've saved our lives. Here's, you know, a giant pile of money and some explosive ammo and a cuddle. But no, that's not what happens. Instead, the lad's just gone. He's not here right now. So just keep on keeping on. Head on up. See if we can uh, find him as time goes by. And it does rather look like everybody is um, waiting in ambush for me. No doubt planning a surprise present with cake, given they were about to be murdered by bugs, and I just took out the bugs, so you're welcome. You're all very welcome indeed. I'm sorry about this, Shepard. We've got orders from Venezia. Open fire! So, yes, um, they're just going to open fire on me. Even though I just, I saved them all. All of them. Just assassinate, by the way, and no. Hang on, assassinate. Oh, if you sabotage, assassinate can't actually... Right, I didn't know that. Assassinate can't do anything in the event that you're... Oh, are you ready to go now? Ready to go. Oh, there's everything. Okay, there's, there's furniture. There's furniture here. This is, this is all fascinating. You can just get on the cocky roof, by the way. Oh, that's good. Right, you're now exposed up top, and you're going to take headshot damage. You're on fire. You're over here. And there's... Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Who's firing on me? Shield boost. Someone... Oh, someone got right up the side of me. Oh, probably that guy. Sorry. I kind of probably knocked him there with a singularity. So that was... That was unfortunate. Well, I'm glad I noticed I had no health. Otherwise, that could have got... There's no cover there. You're not taking cover behind anything. And he's still not dead. Seriously, just, just kill that guy. Knock him out. Knock him out. There's... Oh, the physics. Is everybody nice and dead? And Ash... Ashley. Okay, the danger of singularity in a crowded area is the furniture falls in such a way as it completely bloody screws over everybody. Because they get stuck on stuff and... Oh, you're down there! Sorry, I didn't realise. Can we can we get to that guy now? He's, he's under the... He's under the floor! Do we have him? Is, is he... Okay, I've got enough splash on my rifle to murder him through the... Okay, we're just going to top of him. Got him! Okay, marvellous. So we just killed him through the uh, floor. Need medical kits. So, yes. At this point, I can just basically start blasting my way past all the uh, assault drones. Because I've just declared war on these bastards. So I don't really see why not, to be honest. And yes, this is, this is just a shortcut to Benezia. If you want to just take a shortcut, you can. Nothing to stop you doing that. And Ash... You go first if you be so kind. Unless you're still stuck on. I think Ashley's just stuck behind some furniture at this point. So that that's good. That's that's very good indeed. So go. Right, that's you taken out. Oh dear, that hurts a little bit. We good? I think we're good. So now just keep on keeping on. And in just a second. And, uh, yes, there's a few more guards. So, if you want to just murder your way through this area, you can. That's fine. Just murder away. And, oh, you see a whole bunch of them. Right, Liara's caught up. Singularity. And does that get everyone? Good enough. And now everyone looks slightly on the uh, dying side to me. And this is... It's like playing pinball, but with sentient creatures, which is just, just marvellous, just great. Oh, he's fallen off. Okay, well, that's that's good. You've fallen off too. I just want to knock them all out of bounds. 
Because you can be immune as much as you want, but that doesn't give you any physics resistance, you stupid bastard. I'm having a lovely time here. This is, this is great. I'm really enjoying having this much physics damage. You're out of bounds, aren't you? Yes, I believe you are. Ash, you just go ahead and like, yeah, knock him down for a second. It's going to be fine. Everything's, everything's a-okay. Right, knock him over. He's under the floor. Any type of... Oh, there's more of them yet, though. Okay, there might be some more drones or something around the corner. Or he's just standing there, I'm not sure. Okay, there's definitely more yet. Some drones. Oh, yeah, there's more people just under the floor. Is this precisely, precisely what we all want to see? Another singularity, please. And now they're all just going to be around. And now take off the shields. And now explosions. And now just human pinball. And like this... Life is good. Okay, now you're all out of bounds and on fire. You're right there. You've fallen over. You're dead. There might be some more people. Who knows at this point? I don't bloody know. So we're just going to start blasting our way through. So yeah, there's just giant piles of people, which is great. Uh, Liara, knock that idiot over if you'd be so kind. And Liara, get out of the... Is there someone behind us? Okay, there's not, but you're acting like there is. Ash, you up front, because you just regenerate health dumb levels of fast. So you just get up there, and I think we're down to the last one or two here. So, open fire. And last hand fall. Go, go, go. Oh yeah, you try an immunity all you want. This is a really good answer to immunity, by the way. Because you can't immunity physics. Gives you no physics resistance. It just keeps you down till the immunity wears off. And it only lasts like six seconds. And this much firepower can just... It can tear apart cover. Hadn't even thought about that. But I've got so much firepower at this point. I can just explode cover. How many cover-based shooter games give you the ability to ultimately become so powerful you can just destroy all the cover in the world? And there we go. That's, um, that's what we need. I believe this is an elevator that takes me straight to Benezia. So if you want to just murder your way to Benezia, you can. We probably shouldn't do that, though. Because, like, you know, there's plot stuff we'd be missing out on. So now we've done that and we've murdered everyone, admittedly. I'm not sure whether everyone's still going to be willing to talk to me. Now I've done a fair whack of um, murder. Because I have killed everybody, actually. Um... Okay, so don't worry about that. It's all fine. Don't worry about any of this nonsense. Right, I'm going down to the medical lab. So, doctor, um, I'm sorry about the genocide, but... Ooh. Okay, I think because I've done it this way, I'm just not allowed to. So, yeah, you can kind of accidentally screw yourself out of story. Because, you know, there's a nice story about some guy who was the only survivor of the Ragnar, and you've got to sort out a quarantine, and synthesize a medicine, and take on a traitor, and diddly diddly dee. And like in all my other series of Mass Effect, I'll have uh, done it that way. But uh, no, the guy says, hey, we're under attack from Ragnar, they come from the hot labs, here's a key to the hot labs, then you go to the hot labs, and deal with the monsters that are attacking him. You don't get given a thank you. Instead, you just get attacked, and then you murder everyone, and as a result of you murdering everyone, yeah, you just get less story. It's all a bit confusing. I was kind of wondering whether that might have been changed. Because it is a bit odd that you can just sort of accidentally be forced into a kill everything structure without even meaning to. And speaking of which, I think I see some more red on the map over there. So I feel like these people are. Okay, so a lot more innocent people need to die yet. Yeah. Uh, everybody forward. Everybody forward. Just knock them the flip over. It's all fine. Seriously, Ash, just keep on keeping on. Is this person dead, by the way? Okay, that person's dead already. I'm really sorry about this. Where's your cover? Oh, you don't have cover. Well, that's fine. Because, um, oh, okay, this is... Yes, this system doesn't really work for people here. They just keep getting knocked under the, under the floor. So I don't know where he is now. Oh, he's that. We got him. Everything's fine. Can't get in here, though. And the doctor doesn't exist at this point. So I'm guessing this door of here. Actually, that door's open. Okay, the back door's actually just open at this point. So this is the way you would ultimately end up coming if you sorted out the quarantine lockdown by curing the disease. I didn't. I just killed everyone. And as a result, like, the lockdown's just 
not happening at the moment. So that's all uh, fine too. Right, knock you down. Just take out a few more people while we're passing by. And yes, that brings me round to here. But there's like a very small submission involving breaking into a lab, taking on Asari. It's not a bad little fight actually, to be honest. But uh, yes, here we go. We've managed to make it here via both routes. Just a bit more murdery than I was expecting. So yeah, here we go. Loop round this way. That leads down into the restricted area where we already were. Handful more technician kits here and... Ooh, Combat Optics 9. That's the see-through radar interference. Right, Liara. You can have that, lovely. And as for me, I'm going to have a think about uh, grenades. Because I don't need high explosive grenades anymore. So what would be the best option for my grenades at this point? I mean, I could go for loads of damage over time. I mean, honestly, that wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be the worst thing. I'm going to give that a go. So yeah, now my grenades do loads of burning damage over time. So against tough enemies, I just want to start wearing them down. Could be useful. So... Okay, I think this is it. We've managed to make it uh, straight to the hot labs. Oh yeah, this is it. And tragically, you can't just shoot Benezia. It's just not allowed. You can shoot very close to her, but you know, she's pretty damn badass. She just doesn't care. So, uh, right, got Liara, so everything should be fine. Though she's... I think possibly Liara and Ashley have got over their differences and are now snogging over there, because that was some suspicious movement going on on the oh yeah they're doing it just look at the radar down there okay so it turns out ashley's space racism may have just been uh, yes a cover for some very intense feelings towards liara and they're working it out together right now so uh, i mean bow chick bow wow i'm not gonna interrupt that's fine though we do also have to deal with your mother at some point liara so how about we go and deal with that too you do not know the privilege of being a mother there is power in creation to shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring into this confrontation. Liara's here because she wants to be, not because I asked her to. Indeed. What have you told him about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I can't believe you'd kill your own daughter. I now realize I should have been strict with her. Here we go. So, we got Asari Commandos, uh, they're coming in, uh, and Benezia has a power level, which uses to maintain her biotic bubble, so she's safe for the time being, and also, like, open doors to summon in reinforcements. It's very confusing. So, okay, 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 okay. First things first, damping. I want this one, so she can't use any biotic powers, so there we go. And next up, I want Singularity, just to get them off their feet. And as soon as that's done, you're dead. And yeah, momentarily you're dead too. Good. So she now uses up some of her power to open a door. That was always very confusing, and it's still confusing. Good, 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 good. So they are on the, yeah, the far side of the room. Okay, be careful, which is the right way to approach. Normally I go anti-clockwise, but... I see no reason why not to go this way, really, and... Oh! I see you guys! Right, okay. Just stay away from their powers. They stand next to each other. Right, singularity right on this corner, if you'd be so kind. Let's take out you. You're not going to be getting up again. No, you are not. Good, 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 good. Where's the other one, though? Because there was a second, I'm sure of it. Yeah, there she is. Right. So she's got a biotic barrier. Might have a better shot at these guys, to be honest, so... No, seriously, why can I not... I'm just trying to go for... Uh-oh. I feel like she's she's on, mate. Do we know where, where she is precisely? Shield boost, go! I'm being really shot! Guys! Does anyone know who's shooting me, by the way? Someone's shooting me. Uh, I'm guessing it was the Asari Commando, because they're not... Not nothing. But if I just... Oh, blimey. Well, that's her head exploded. She's on fire now. Good. Good, good, good. Right. Keep on keeping on. 
We should be good for now. Now we just go over here. And then now your shield's down. We should just be able to pick you off. Uh, Ash, go forward and... Yeah, this is a bit of a difficult approach, to be honest. Uh, Ash, you go. Oh, dear. Shouldn't have sent you first, to be honest. You're dead. Next up, we have got... Yeah, now they're paying attention over there, meaning I've got an easy shot from here. Their cover is useless. Two over there. Don't see them. Ash, pull them out. Wherever they are, I want eyes on. So I see something over there. It is Sniper! Dangerous. Be careful. I see you as well. I might just be able to... Aha! Easy. Okay. You're going to be no trouble at all. Down he goes. Where's the sniper? Oh, here we go. Biotic bubble lady activates the next. Now, is it the one I'm standing next to? Because if so, that could be a problem. And... Nope, she seems to be... Oh, hang on. They're over... Wait, where am I? They seem to be the same... No, those two aren't dead yet. Well, that's fascinating. Um, okay, this is not what I was expecting. Down you go to... You're actually dead, by the way. You're dead. You're knocked over. Take you out. Okay, that's you. Take it down. Ash is just doing her own thing because she can. If you can just take the shields down, I can just kill them. So this is all absolutely fine. There's another group around the back. There's probably commandos coming in. Those are the ones who are moving fast right now. So be careful. I think they're moving towards... Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a commando moving towards... No, that's a destroyer. Okay, uh, overload. Right, that's it. Screwed. It can't stand up to me now. Wow. Overload and explosive ammo is a crazy combination. This is... It feels not very snipery, though, to be honest. Like, I feel like snipers shouldn't be using ridiculous, overwhelming, heavy firepower. By the way, Ash, get over there. Draw him out. Here we go. Ash, just... Ash. Ash, go and deal with the Triforce of Robots. All right, there we go. They're starting to split up here. Go, go. Probably this is a good time to get a singularity down. We got all of them? I think so. Right. And then take them out like that. Go, go, go. That one's already dead, actually. Job done. We're all finished. This is not over. Saren is unstoppable. My mind is filled with his light. Everything is clear. Wait, there's one more phase. Because she summons a tiny handful of Asari commandos to help her out in the final confrontation. Which you can't avoid. There's no speech check to avoid it. I feel like there should be. Like, if you're charming enough and Liara's here, you should be able to talk her down. But tragically, no. The Rachni didn't cooperate with you. Why should I? I will not betray him. You will. You... You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. This is very noteworthy, by the way, kind of, you know, with the benefit of the rest of the franchise to look at, which is people who have been indoctrinated. So indoctrinated, they are now, you know, willing servants of the Reapers. They almost never recover. In any capacity, it almost never happens. Matra Benezia is one hell of a badass just for this brief second of being able to return to herself. It's just, yeah, quite remarkable and almost never happens again in the entire franchise. She is a real badass to be doing this. So you could turn on me again? Yes, but it would not be my will, Shepard. People are not themselves around Saren. You come to idolize him, worship him. You would do anything for him. The key is Sovereign, his flagship. It is a dreadnought of incredible size, and its power is extraordinary. Sovereign's not like other ships. Where did it come from? I cannot say. The Geth did not build it. Its technology is far more advanced than that of any known species. The longer you stay aboard, the more Saren's will seems correct. You sit at his feet and smile as his words pour into you. It is subtle at first. I thought I was strong enough to resist. Instead, I became a willing tool, eager to serve. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. How does something that big go missing? 
4,000 years ago, a star nearby went supernova. The shockwave propelled the relay out of its system, but did not damage it. Its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. As millennia passed, the nebula created by the nova enveloped the relay. It is difficult to find any cold object in interstellar space, particularly something swathed in hot dust and radiation. Someone on Novaria found it? 2,000 years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. You can still make it right. Give me the information. I was not myself, but I should have been stronger. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Knowing the relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh you should. Oh, you should. Mother, I don't leave. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara. Die. Okay, one final bit of combat here. I've just been flipping. I've been stasis, which is not great. Um. Okay. Is is anyone got anything? Okay, I've got something. I might be able to. Oh, I've been knocked over. We're fine. Everything's under control. Where are the others? I swear there's others. Are there not others? I could have sworn there were. Liara, I need you to shoot her. Please shoot her, Liara. Okay, this is this is fine. Uh, okay, we're now back to where we should be. Can you lift a buddy, Chance? I doubt it. Damping. And this is. Oh, you can as well. Well, that's bloody useful. I think she went out of bounds, which means she auto died. I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Okay, yes, if someone gets knocked out of bounds, they just auto-die. Which I'm pretty sure is what just happened there, so... Liara just killed her own mother by lifting her out of the room, which is fascinating. Hold on. We've got Nedigel. Maybe we can... No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. Mother... Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. No light. They always said there would be a... <sighs> I know this is very sad, but I always find that line hilarious when Liara's here. Where she specifically says, Oh, I shall see you again at the dawn, our religious version of heaven or whatever. Followed immediately by... Oh, wait, hang on. No, there is no dawn. Our religion was a lie. Oh, well, guess I'm not seeing you again after all. Also, I swear we're supposed to go straight into a, a cutscene at this point. Also, I swear there used to be Asari commandos in this final stage. They're not here anymore? Okay, um, well, I guess we just go over here. Because don't we have to... Yes, there we go. We have to go and speak to the queen next. Because we haven't sorted out what we're doing with her yet. serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. Another reason I love Mass Effect 1, how it had such a fascination with 
ancient aliens who were so alien it's difficult to understand what they mean because their society, their culture, what they are is just so different from humanity, it's basically incomprehensible to Shepard. Whether it's the Thorian or the Ragnar, that level of alienness we never got to get in the franchise. Your way of communicating is strange, flat. It does not color the air. When we speak, one moves all. This is going to be a fun conversation. We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. Ah yes, normally at this point she asks you to kill her children by going to the hot labs, but I kind of already did that, so... Okay, I'm not sure if I can remember what the script's gonna do to deal with that. Did you order your people to kill the science team? No, we were locked away here. The children are beyond our songs. They have been lost to silence. You are not in harmony with those who hoped to control us. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? Commander, I don't trust this thing. We know it's kind or killers. The tank is rigged with acid. I recommend using it. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us or return our people to the silence of memory. So okay, just out of interest, what would your plan be if I was to free you? If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No, we, I, do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. I'm not sure it's ever explicitly stated, but given what we know happens later in the franchise, I'm guessing what happened was, yes, they had some form of interaction with Reaper technology, and they were indoctrinated or corrupted in some capacity, because... Yes, the Ragnar Queen, whether or not you actually free this queen right here, will be corrupted by the Reapers and show up in Mass Effect 3, making this decision kind of annoyingly inconsequential, because they do specifically flag in Mass Effect 2, hey, this was a big deal, you released the Queen, we're putting together a big army of Ragnar, when the time comes we're going to be there to help you out, then in Mass Effect 3 it makes like minimal difference. Like, there's a tiny difference in the war asset score you can gain, depending on which decision you made, but it's very disappointing. They were really bigging up something very significant with the Ragnar, and it just never really came to fruition. So, uh, it's a bit of a shame. It's a bit of a shame that that's what's going on, and yes, indeed, the Ragnar in the hot labs, who I kind of already murdered. You could have calmed them if I hadn't set off the purge? No. Our minds are not as yours. We can only learn to sing in harmony. Without a mother, children are lost to silence. You should not sing of them in grey and violet. We would have still them ourselves. Okay, good. We're fine. That's okay. Shepard doesn't have to feel bad about that genocide. Some of the other genocides, maybe more so, but not this particular one. And yep, you know what? We're being Captain Paragon, so Paragon we go, because it's slightly better in Mass Effect 3 if she lives, rather than dying right here, right now. There's a reason their kind were hunted to extinction. It's better to be safe than let a dangerous race loose. Okay, Ashley, we don't genocide entire species on the possibility that they might cause trouble in future. Bad Ashley, no biscuit for you later. Are we any better if we kill them all? If this had happened in Tokyo, or Armstrong, or on the Citadel, the death toll would be... You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. 
I like how the queen just couldn't be bothered to let Ashley speak. She just straight up cuts her off because she just doesn't care what Ashley has to say. Good job, queen. I agree. Right, so off you go. Have fun, like, being in space. Not sure how you get into space. There was talk of a ship earlier. Not sure we ever actually see them, but somehow they get into space. They've got ships somewhere, apparently, so that's nice. And I believe there should be a shortcut straight back to the train station right over here. So yeah, in a moment we could take a right to get to the hot labs. We don't have to because we already did that. Murdered all those kids and then also murdered like everyone else too. And seriously, open. There we go. So that's already been taken care of. Marvelous. Everybody's dead. Back we go because I'm pretty sure the moment you step onto the tram, you just teleport straight back to the Normandy. Lovely. What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. This is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Crew, dismissed. Ovaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? And then release the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? This Queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. Our children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. Miss Williams, Commander, we need to talk. If we do not resolve this situation now, I am afraid things might become... awkward. Oh, awkward, huh? I hope we can keep this civilized. I do not want things to become unpleasant. Because it's been so pleasant between us lately. Look, somebody in this room needs to make a choice. It ain't me, and it ain't you. Maybe we should try to work this out. I think we must. I may not know much about human relationships, but I understand the concept of jealousy. Jealous? Of you? You're not even our species. Perhaps that is why you feel threatened. I am a rival unlike any you have faced before. Hostility is a common reaction to the unfamiliar. Doctor, you keep smart-assing me? I'll show you what my hostile reaction is like. I love it when women fight over me. Sorry, Commander. That fantasy's not gonna happen. We're not married, Shepard. You wanna get involved with some alien? Go ahead. It's none of my business. So at this point, you can ask them for a threesome, but Ash isn't down for that. In fact, actually, it's kind of unclear and it's a bit weird it works out this way, but maybe Liara doesn't understand what you're implying. But uh, yes, if you ask for a threesome, Ash walks away and you basically commit yourself to uh, the Liara romance. But we're not going to do that, okay? Just in case there's any form of flag back end that means there might be a problem as a result of that. So basically, screw you, bye Ash. I really thought I'd been abundantly clear I was into Liara. I wasn't even expecting this scene to play. But uh, yes, if you just speak to both of them, eventually they decide they need to come and make you choose one way or the other. And a threesome is not on the table. I never meant for you to get hurt. But Liara's the one I really care about. Hey, we're all grown-ups here, right? Hope you two will be happy together. If you don't mind, I need to clean my gear. I feel bad for her, Shepard. I hope she'll be okay. I mean, to her credit, she didn't say anything really, really grossly offensive, so there's some personal growth for Ash. I'll go talk with her in a while. Give her a chance to cool down. I suppose you're right. I'm sorry you were put in this position, but I'm glad you chose me. I don't believe we should continue this discussion here in the comm room, Shepard. You know where to find me if you want to have a more private conversation. Alright, and there we go. Was not expecting to see that, but we got it anyway, and I even got some Paragon points. Despite yelling cat fight out loud, but uh, okay, fine, what have ya. And if I recall correctly, of course, just like we saw with Pharos. Here we go, a brand new system. I'm pretty sure, yeah, Hawking Eater was definitely already there. Kepler Verge was there. Maroonsi appeared in the middle of these four. So yeah, these two systems, they both appear later. So we've now got ourselves a Styx Dita and nothing there but, aha, 
just a couple of uh, systems uh, named after rivers of the ancient Greek underworld. Marvellous. So, uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'd say uh, we probably want to check in with that next time because... Uh, Yes, would you believe, uh, just like some Thorian creepers made stuff world, uh, so too uh, did some Ragni. Not the good kind we just released, the bad kind, who are a bit on the banana side. So, uh, we better go mop all of that up, and then after that, there's a couple of other missions we could probably get round to doing. Here we go, the crime lords that Blake told me to take out. We've been meaning to do that for some bloody time, and on top of that, yes, you may have noticed, uh, one other thing floating around. Asteroid X-57. Now, this, I believe, is the Mass Effect 1 DLC campaign, and I don't think I've ever done this before. This is going to be brand new Mass Effect 1 content for me. So, yeah, I'd say, how about we have a little bit of a look-see at the DLC campaign, assuming we're allowed to. I mean, it says right there that it's there, so I'm going to assume that we're allowed to, uh, you know, go and take care of that, because we've got ourselves that's Utopia there. Yeah, that's Utopia, where Eden Prime is, but... There's something else going on here. I assume that's the beginning of the DLC campaign. So uh, how about next time we put our nose in and have a little look-see at that? So there's something fun for you next time, ladies and gentlemen. A bit of Mass Effect 1 content I have never seen before. So uh, join me next time. We will be diving into what is very literally the unknown. Hopefully you join me for that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Wait, wait, and flamethrower! 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 Okay, so this is... This is definitely morally questionable. The point where you start singing the flamethrower song, potentially, you've gone over the line.